Hey, what's up everyone? So this is our first YouTube video. Uh, we did not film this intro at the last state park that we went to of Rainbow Springs. So we're out on a family walk uh, tonight after we're already home, uh, but just want to talk about. So we went to Rainbow Springs for the weekend, stayed Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, so and within Rainbow Springs, we checked out the Head Springs, we checked out the campground, uh, which was the uh, Rainbow River entrance, and then uh, part of the state park, uh, which we didn't know the history of, of Rainbow Springs, and that it used to be an amusement park, which was really cool. So uh, check out the history. We'll post a link in the description with some of the history and the link to the state park. Uh, so it was a amusement park from 1937 to roughly 1970s until it was closed down and then mid 1990s is when it opened up as a state park so uh, pretty cool history great place mosquitoes were not not the worst oh, it was a lot horrible. of people well they weren't they weren't awful we've been in way worse mosquito conditions mm -hmm. uh, so it might be that me they did not affect as much as other people who maybe within my family have a little bit sweeter blood than mine. Uh, but really cool place. Uh, you'll see us exploring the the Head Springs, which is where the uh, abandoned or uh, ruins of, of the uh, amusement park was. And then we took lots of footage of the crystal clear water and floating down. Uh, so the first day, uh, four of us floated down. Then the second day, all six of us floated down. So... Uh, check out the rest of the video. going down Rainbow Springs. This is our first official video. So me, me and the boys are just cruising down right now. So welcome to our channel. We're staying the weekend here at Rainbow Springs. Cruising down from the campground. Hope you like it. Yep, I can definitely touch the seaweed, but I cannot touch the ground. So it's been a it's been a weird weekend because it's it's a little bit overcast, but um, a little rainy. Yeah, a little rainy this morning, but overall it's it's uh, it's a little bit clear. It's not too hot right now, so probably best case scenario to not get sunburned. So so we'll uh, we'll show you a little bit more of the of of the the Rainbow Springs. We we went down to the Head Springs earlier, and now we're currently being pushed into this person's dock. I don't think we're floating. Very well.
So we're about we're about 35 minutes into our float down the Rainbow Spring from the campground. So we had a big old patch of wind, and we we almost got blew into the one of the boat the boat docks the boat. Uh, so then we caught the current pretty good. Uh, just cruising down. It's, the sun's up now. It's pretty hot. They're pulling off so. my dead skin. Help. They're pulling your dead skin off? Yes! From your feet? Stop! I actually! I love feet. Don't do actually, that. Actually, stop! Can I take... Can I... Can Spencer have the camera for a second? Can I have the camera for a second? Put it right here! Put it right here! It is right here. I feel like, um, like, tie it right here. I'm not... No, we're not tying it. What's infected? They're pulling dead skin off of Parker's feet. Right now. So here we are, update number three. Cruising down, we're at about an hour and 20 minutes so far. Uh, my watch will not load anything to show me where we are or where where the end is. But there are some really cool houses in Denellen. So as far as cruising down the river, just seeing the houses is is really, really awesome. Uh, there there's, there's some really really fun looking places. I don't know if Siri, could you say that again? No, I'm not talking to you, Siri. Shut up, Siri. So, the boys are just Aww. hanging out. I'm throwing grass. I, I think we should be getting to our our ending spot cuz I see a bunch of tubes down there. So, I don't know if that means that's like where the end is or the start is. Well, I don't know. We'll have to figure it out, so, so far so good.
Oh, Alright, so we're that's back for... An otter. That's, that's, an otter. that's an otter? Where? Behind us! Oh, wow. Other direction, back there. Can you take a picture of it? I'm looking. No, this yeah, is so wide. Is. And we're filming. We're on day two of... Rainbow Springs. Parker right here in the middle. Uh, we've got Mommy and Everett here. There is a... <laughs> there is a... Stop. So we went and got... Got equipped again with uh, with some oars. So the otters over there. Over by that tree. See it's poking it. There it is. See it. Oh yeah. I see it. Otters. There's like two. I saw one of them leg. So we've I think we've seen every animal that they said is gonna be. And we're doing circles. These guys up here are not the are not the most proficient in, we need in uh, paddling. Here's what I want to do, Daddy. I want to put... Just, it was All right, so we just finished up. We're walking on the trail now. The very last second we saw about a three or four foot alligator. Maybe, maybe four foot alligator, which was about ten feet from us. Staring at us. We're floating down. I just saw the eyes, so... Walking back, they've got people here to uh, to grab you, which is very very helpful because it was kind of deep right there at the end. So what do you guys think? Would recommend. Would recommend. Fun. Just watch out. There's a huge. There's like a few, like a bunch of huge wasp nests at the end. Okay, we saw one wasp nest. There's two. two. You we, saw two? Yeah, we yes, found. I, I pointed out that's when you looked at the alligator. Oh, okay. Well, I only saw the one, but they were, it was pretty big. They were, yeah, it was a big nest. I'm just happy we were talking. Probably 150 wasps on it, probably. It was fun, and some parts would get really deep, and there's a bunch of fish to see. Yeah, recommendations. If you do want to come here, I do, I do suggest, you know, bringing your own tube is a good idea because you can save the money. Uh, making sure that you have a plan of how to get back uh, because you have to plan that out if you're going to jump on the, the tram. Uh, but definitely bring some type of paddle just because when it gets windy, it kind of pushes you all around. So we did that part, that part would have helped if we had some kind of small paddle, even if it was like half a paddle, uh, in. which definitely... Definitely would suggest that. That probably would have made the whole experience a lot different. Uh, we want, you want to bring rope. That way, if you guys do want to stay together, you tie yourself together. That's what we did. We actually took apart one of the paracord bracelets, and we used that to uh, tie it all together. Now I have to buy Parker a new paracord bracelet, but it came in handy for not necessarily an emergency, but this uh, it kept us together. So definitely worked out. So. Just a couple of suggestions for you. So, walking back, uh, Mom is going to meet us here, so we can we can jump in the truck and get back to the temple.